Hey everybody, Ann here, just sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee and today it's going to be a busy day. Of course I've got to water the plants because I don't think it's going to rain today. I've got to harvest some vegetables because I didn't harvest any yesterday and i got to figure out how I'm going to preserve them. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to do. But I fixed my Linux, so that is awesome. Looky, it's updating. I got it to work. I fixed it. I removed the errors. And now it's updating. <laughs> Three years worth of updates. I am so happy. Well, if that ain't a beautiful sight to see, I don't know what is. Today is the day that I'm going to let the two barred rocks that the neighbor family gave me um, free range. So I'm going to let them out, let them mingle with the other chickens, let them roam around, and hopefully they'll come back. I think they will. Um, so we're going to do that, and then I'm going to get to harvesting some veggies. Let the two barred rocks out. I don't know what I'm going to call them yet, but I think they're both hens. The other uh, chickens have already gone out to free range. So I'm definitely going to let these ladies free range. They're both barred rocks, but they come from different mamas. That one. And Roman was the daddy. Um, I don't know what kind of hen that came from, but this other one here, if you could see it, has Easter egg or tufts around its ears. So it's an Easter egg or barred rock. Let's see what I'm going to harvest today. I think this is a good start. Oh, zucchini. Let me get it. There's a summer squash. I think I'm going to let that get... I'm going to let it go for another day. And then... No zucchini over here. I didn't harvest those tomatoes the other day because they just looked like they needed to get a little bit riper. So I'm going to go ahead and get them today. Oh, there's a ton of them. An absolute ton that are going to be delicious. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat some of them raw, just like this. I may dehydrate some. I may ferment some. I'm not sure. But there's quite a few. Oh, look at these big fat juicy ones right here yeah I don't know I could probably let them go for another day but I'm gonna go ahead and pick them just to get them off of this vine in fact I might just go ahead and get this whole thing yeah here we go oh there's more up here I think I'm gonna let these go for a little bit more oh my gosh look at a bunch of red tomatoes yeah, definitely going to get this one. Oh, beautiful. It needs to ripen just a, maybe another day. Look at that. Lovely. And look at, I got a couple more. Finally ripening over here. Thank goodness. And what do we got over here? Yep, we got some more cherry tomatoes, but they're not ready to go yet. I got a few of these yellow snap beans, but... Not enough to do a lot with, so mm, I'm just going to snack on them. Oh, they are so delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Huh, let's see here. Well, I got a couple peas <laughs> coming on. Oh, here's a nice size one. Yeah, I might as well go ahead and pick it. Um, not enough to do anything with, so once again. Mm, oh my goodness, I'm just going to eat them. You know what else I like to snack on? This new growth here. It, uh, <laughs> it's so delicious. Really delicious. Mm -hmm. I might just grow these. Oh, look. For the greens. Yeah. Right on. Oh, look. I got a whole bunch. Look. Once you start looking, you see a whole bunch. Oh my gosh, a oh. whole, sorry, I need to film better, I need to be a bit better videographer. Let's see, are there any more? I'm betting there are, I just can't see them. I don't know, who knows, there's plenty, plenty of the greens to eat though, I love them.
The older leaves like this get kind of tough. But the new leaves are just really delicious. Yeah, I think that's about it. Oops, missed one. A few more of these coming on, not big enough yet. But the plant is looking lush. The other one over there is as well, but none ready to pick. You guys, I just cannot wait till these jalapeno peppers get bigger. Oh, look at these. They're getting there. They're getting there. I look forward to my first jalapeno pepper and cayennes. All too small, but they're finally, finally growing. Okay. Not too shabby. They're like, I, I know they're just going to stick around one another. I do hope they go out and explore. It's good for them to get out and get some natural grit, get some exercise. So far, the Easter eggers. The Easter eggers are always pretty nice. Gosh, I wish that one hen would grow her feathers on her back back. Oh, don't make a liar out of me. But they know how to get away. See, they've gotten so big. It's a little tiny baby harvest, but it's a harvest nonetheless. And I have some more uh, yellow summer squash and one more zucchini inside the house that I uh, picked yesterday. So uh, this is going to go on a bacon lettuce, bacon wild lettuce and tomato sandwich. The rest of these that are ripe, I'm not really exactly sure what I'm going to do. Um, I'd like to try fermenting some tomatoes. So, I don't know. I may just eat these as a snack. Mm. Oh my goodness. Aww. Look at Romeo's trying to tidbed for the new, for the new girls. He's being nice. Let's see if these other chickens are going to be nice. Looks like they're getting along okay. Still a little tentative, but he's trying to show them where the good stuff is. And today in the dehydrator is one of those zucchinis, the whole zucchini. Well, I have to admit, I did eat some of it, but I got the little fan going and you might be concerned about bugs. Nah, the, it, it gets too hot in here. The bud, bugs really don't hit on it. So the last summer squash I did, took two days so I imagine this will probably take two days as well because it's really humid. I decided to do some lacto fermentation. I got cherry tomatoes in here a mixture of pretty ripe ones and not so ripe ones because they say you are supposed to use the less ripe ones when you're fermenting them. I've got both in there and then I've got some fresh herbs, some uh, basil, oregano, some thyme. I've got some chopped onions and I've got some garlic in there as well and this is a yellow summer squash um, also basil garlic thyme oh and over here um, I also put in one dehydrated uh, cayenne pepper because I want it to be kind of spicy so I'm just gonna try these two jars and see how it goes I've never fermented either one of these kinds of vegetables before so before I share the recipe with you I'm gonna see if it works out but don't they look gorgeous so I'm just going to put them in a cool dark place for five to seven days and then I'm going to test them and I'll check them daily as well um, just to make sure that they're not bubbling over. Oh, let me show you something else. These two jars are different. I didn't put an airlock on this one because I put a little baggie that acts as my fermentation weight and I just push it down in there, fill it up with more of the brine and... Um, to keep the, the vegetables down below the, the level of the water so I'm not having to poke my fingers in the actual fermentation vessel. I can just make sure. And um, I keep adding water if, if I need to. So the little airlock thing is it's really not necessary. This jar here, I was able to get the tomatoes to stay down underneath the level of the water because of the way this jar is. So I think that they're going to be okay. I'll still check it daily to make sure they're beneath the water, but um, eventually this will start bubbling. So, the waiting game is on. 
I'm just chilling out on my porch for a little bit until I have to go do some actual hard work. I got to go over and get some water for Mr. Lucas because these plants need water. It's not going to rain. Nah, it's not going to rain. But I wish you could smell the way that it smells inside that tiny house. The smell of onions and garlic and herbs. Oh, it smells so good. Anyhow, yeah, it's been a good day and it's going to continue to be a good day. I'm going to have to work my butt off hauling water, but got to get her done. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.